So here we are. It's the dawn of a new day. And behind me in the Palace of Westminster is the dawn of a new Labour government who have swept to power overnight with a really healthy majority. But will that majority allow them to push through and make all the changes that they so desperately want to? And what about the property market? Will they actually be able to build 1.5 million new homes? Will we see changes in planning? Will we see more social housing? Will we see more help for first time buyers? And what are the property market itself? What will happen to that? Well, the property market has been, as always, more resilient than many expected. Yes, the lack of supply has definitely played a role in that. There's still issues with mortgage affordability. That remains a challenge. But the steady flow of rate cuts from lenders this week alone is seeing things improve slightly on that front. And I suspect that will continue. The decisive win for the Labour Party overnight and the fact that mercifully the election is now over, yay, could see demand for property pick up once more. And if the Bank of England is brave, and it needs to be brave, and reduces the base rate at its next meeting, sentiment will improve as if a switch has been suddenly pressed. And that could see house prices rise more than just modestly. It's going to be a very, very interesting time. The next few days, those first policies will be scrutinised and we shall see what they actually do. But all we can do is wish the new government the best of luck. We hope that housing remains priority. We hope we don't see an endless merry-go-round housing ministers. One one will be fine within the whole term. Make sure that actually they keep talking to those who know. Our door is always open. They want to talk about the mortgage and property market. But good luck. Let's see what the future brings.